AMS Oil, the first in synthetics. Today on Sledhead 24-7, the annual shootout at Snowshoot. We travel to West Yellowstone, Montana with two lucky guest riders to ride and evaluate the latest and greatest snowmobiles for 2013. From groomed trails to the mountains, our test riders, led by Mac and Fish, share their opinions on the 2013. We hit it hard and put on some miles. Find out our selections for best in class for each of the five categories. Sledhead 24-7 from Snowshoe starts now. We brought a little bit of something for everyone. It'll be crazy, stupid, fast. Sledhead 24-7 travels once again to Snowshoot in West Yellowstone, Montana. I am filling out the waivers here because they got to make sure that everybody here should be here because everybody outside wants to get in here in the snowshoot. You know why? Hello. You get to ride all the next year's stuff. We're going to go evaluate. We're going to go ride the biggest and baddest stuff that you people won't get to ride until next year, but you're going to get a taste of it right here, right now. This year, two lucky guest riders were invited to ride and review the 2013 snowmobiles from every manufacturer. Paul Martinson from Glenwood, Minnesota. Uh, I'm, I'm a loan officer at a, a small community bank. Uh, I got invited to go to Snowshoot with Sledhead 24-7 and I am excited to go try out all the new sleds. My name is Kelly Davis. I live in Columbus, Montana. I teach school. I teach a bunch of unruly third graders. They're awesome. It's a lot of fun and um, I got the call to come to Snowshoot and I was so excited. I didn't know what it was all about, I didn't know what I'd be doing, but I knew I'd be doing a lot of riding, so I was pretty excited. You guys don't need to keep hearing about how we want and what we like, so what we did this year is we added some more people. They're very knowledgeable, they're very astute in snowmobiles, they know what's good, what's bad, and they're gonna give you a, a true opinion of what the average rider out there that's buying new snowmobiles, which they do, what they would buy and what they would do and how they evaluate it. With four days and five categories of snowmobiles to evaluate, there's plenty of riding to look forward to. Touring, rough trail, crossover, groom trail, and mountain machines were put through their paces. The first class we evaluated was the touring class. The touring sled, obviously if you're going touring, you're going quite a few miles, so you want something that's warm, you want something comfortable, tall windshield so the wind isn't hitting you in the face, that kind of thing. What I look for in a touring sled, uh, just something I can relax, put on a lot of miles, be comfortable, basically want to ride my couch down the trail. After careful consideration, our riders narrowed down the best touring sleds to three. Guys like me, the once, I think once you get over 40, you really learn to appreciate the touring sleds, at least I have. First up, the Yamaha RS Venture GT. A little old school yet. The, the, sit, the seating position, I just felt real uncomfortable on. Because the way that the seat is dished out, it's made for two people, obviously. There's a little raise in the back that separates the front from the back, and that seemed to be a little bit too far forward, and it pushed my body forward. So from that standpoint, to go out and ride for three or four or five hours, it gave me just a little bit of an uncomfortable feeling through both my knees. The Yamaha had great wind coverage, uh, comfortable sled, warm. I felt that it wasn't quite as comfortable as the other sleds and maybe didn't take some of those bumps quite as well. The suspension wasn't as plush or set up. Next up, the Articat TZ1 Turbo LXR. The Articat for me, the, the, the TZ1 Turbo, I thought fit the bill best for me overall. It was, it was comfortable, heated seats, great hand warmers, big windshield, and then the turbo just sealed the deal. I found myself riding a little faster th than the other ones and just having a little bit more fun. Well-mannered, handled great, laid flat in the corners, the ergonomics, everything was really good on that. 
Not a whole lot wrong with that Arctic Cat, just a few little things. One thing I noticed is we're hitting bumps. The mirrors had a tendency in the windshield to jiggle around. The Arctic Cat had a little bit of a taller windshield and had heated seats. There was a high and low feature, so you could adjust the heat of that. The best in class touring snowmobile for 2013 is the Skidoo Grand Touring SE. I picked the Skidoo Grand Touring, um, you know, with the air suspension, just really fit the bill for, for comfort. My favorite touring sled was the Skidoo Grand Touring. That had everything. That had obviously all the creature comforts. It had the bags, had the high windshield, had protection, had a super quiet four-stroke engine. It's going to be easy on fuel. I don't have to add any oil to it. It's got an air suspension on it, so I went into different parts of the trail. Got in some really rough stuff. Could pump it up, pump it back down. I'd like it with two people on, you have the option when you add a, a second passenger. It could be a child that's 60 or 80 pounds, and it could be a, an adult that's 150 or 200 pounds. You have the ability with the Grand Touring to increase the suspension without changing anything, without reaching back and doing any dials. I like it. It's just neat. It's cool. It's compact. It's on the handlebars. I don't have to do anything. I can do it on the fly. That was rock solid. I, I just felt the Skidoo did everything I liked it to do. Still ahead from Snowshoe, Broom Trail, Crossover, Rough Trail, and Mountain. Find out which sleds earned the award for best in class and what the sled manufacturers have to offer. Sledhead 24-7 is brought to you by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. By Polaris, terrain domination. By Woody's the most trusted name in traction and control, and by Speedworks, home of straight-up USA horsepower.